Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 14 of the Rosebud Challenge. I think we left off. We had just had Ryan, Talbot Hope, a little baby boy, and it shows here that we have two days left from having a new baby and that makes him happy plus three. And right now it's boosting the fact that he's confident because he had recently completed a master work. He needs three more to get to complete the painter extraordinaire aspiration because we're on the last tier of that. So we're going to put this into, um, <clears throat> excuse me, live mode. And I'm going to zoom him out. I didn't mean to go quite that far. There's there's Ryan sleeping away. And I think this is his painting. Yes. So we'll have him sell it to an art gallery. And we may as well have him. What is this whim? Hell, well, no one's around right now. So we will just have him do another painting. Yes. To sell it. We will do a small realism painting. And now let's check on Eden because she's he's busy over there. And she's over here eating and she has the same moodlet of being happy and she, we were going to try and make some friends. She's already friends with uh, this is Edith, you. So we need to make some more friends. And so she's eating. So she's eating because she was hungry and now there. And I know when we left off, we had tried for baby and she is pregnant because she's at the full again and sparkling which is um a sign that she's pregnant without even taking the pregnancy test because they her and jeremy are the same age and jeremy is well way down and he's 12 he's 68 days to aging up so he's been 12 days in here so she's eating and let me see i wonder if there's anyone else around that she can make friends with so that we can complete and have this instead of having 11 of 12 friends we can actually have 12 friends on this aspiration so the other thing is because she is pregnant and because we had a boy last time, I'm going to do a cheerful introduction to Olivia Spencer Kim, Kim so that maybe we can make a friend with her. I'm pretty sure, yes, we have a, I'm pretty sure we're, we're in a gathering. Yes, which will help us make friends quickly. Between that and her friendly trait, which I'm pretty sure she has the friendly trait. I mean, look at the trait she has. She has incredibly friendly, which um, they're liked immediately if they're met with a nice introduction, which is either um, a cheerful introduction or a friendly introduction. That works either way. Let's see. Did she actually introduce herself? She did not. So let's try that again. And then we had given her a steel bladder, the night owl, which lets them increase their skills at night quickly, and morning sim, which is the same as night owl, except for it applies in the morning. So there we go. We got our 12th friend. And we have frugal, which reduces their bills, and that does stack. So I think he has frugal too, which means their bills will um, be lower. And savant is just gives gain all skills much faster and it's not time of day related. And I think those, and then we obviously, we got the marketable trait, which means that items they've crafted will sell for more simoleons. So while well, she looks like, uh, see there, she's got the signs and she's getting very tired, but we want to have a girl this time because we had a boy last time. So I'm going to harvest these strawberries for her. And then I'm going to have her eat the strawberries because if they eat strawberries, and listen to pop music that significantly increases the chance that they will have a girl. I have had it fail on me, but you know, hopefully that won't be the case. I, I've had it, usually it's successful. It's rarely does it fail. And, uh, but then I think she's tired. Let me get us home. And then she, so she can go to sleep after she eats. So if they eat strawberries and listen to pop music that will influence the gender of the baby to be a girl. Now, I don't think this was a masterpiece, but it's excellent and it's 2,292 simoleons. So we'll sell that. Um, he needs to have a shower. I'm going to take a thoughtful shower to give him the inspired moodlet. And I think since we've made quite a few paintings already, well, we've done a couple. I, I do find that if they just re painted repeatedly paint, 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 that sometimes they go down where if you do a fewer amount in a day, sometimes they're worth more. It's sort of been what I found from painting. So she, he needs to write a good book. So we're going to have him write, um, he needs to write five good books to be specific and have written for 15 total hours, which he'll get there before he has written the five good books, just to write five books. So we're going to have him do a screenplay. And because we want this to be more on the pops, settings will do pop. So the other thing is to have a boy to influence 
the gender of the child to be a boy, then you need to listen to alternative music and eat carrots. And it's pretty easy to not have them eat carrots. It's not so easy to, they may just autonomously listen to alternatives. So we'll just have to watch that. And Aubrey, no, we don't want to go to a party down at the nightclub. We just had a baby and we're staying home with our baby. So he's set up. She's probably going to be caught walking really slowly. Yeah, there she is. She's dragging her heels because she's tired. And we'll name the book. I'm just going to stick with the name that is here. And uh, as opposed to <laughs> coming up with names, so we'll have that. So so we'll check on him. Because he's the one. And of course, if the baby is awake, but if he wakes up, starts crying or, or yeah, there he is, he's crying too soon so he doesn't look like he needs his diaper change because it doesn't say change dirty diaper so we'll have him bottle feed because we'll let Eden sleep and then after we fed the baby we'll cuddle and bounce and rock and try and do some fun things and that's some nice things for the baby to raise the baby social and it looks like Jeremy is a bit hungry, so I'm going to open because I'm pretty sure we have lots of food in here. And we do. That's three days. That's good for two days. We'll try that. I can't be bothered getting everything. And then he can watch some TV while um, we'll watch the cooking channel while he is. Um, sorry. <laughs> while he's eating. So I'm going to breed the whirly flower frogs there for both him and Eden. And once. So we get to remember Ryan. Once Ryan is a child, we can put some whirly flower frogs in his inventory and breed them there too. So the more kids we have, the more frogs we can breed every time we breed frogs. So, so that's kind of that. So he's going to go eat. And I forgot to put the timer on, which I don't want to the video to be too long so i'll put it on now at least in a little bit and he's watching the cooking channel so it's on get rid of that some tv while he eats so actually i'm gonna flip it back to jeremy and the baby is still awake i don't know when he diaper change because that should probably be the next thing that's needed. I'm going to have him, what time is it? It's 11. I think I might just have him go to bed when he's finished watching the TV and finished eating and watching TV because he's getting a bit tired. There we go. Of course, we have our very barren walls because I'm sort of tend to play and give them like what they need and what helps them. And then eventually later on down the line, I start doing some decorating a little bit. Oh, is he? No, he is sleeping. Sometimes I have a hard time telling between blue and there he's awake now. Between blue and, uh, oh, and look, she's awake. So she can go change the dirty diaper. Oh, we just found out she's pregnant. <laughs> okay, don't talk to Jeremy. Come look after your baby. And I'm assuming she has morning sickness. No, she's grungy. I wonder why that's not coming up. It's not showing here. It's showing the hunger more than. So what is Ryan? Jeremy. No, you don't need to come look after the baby, Jeremy. You can just go to sleep. It's still the middle of the night. And you had all the baby. The baby probably doesn't care that you're smelly. And then you can go have a shower. I'm just going to have a regular shower. We'll have you eat a few strawberries. Have her eat some strawberries. Where are they? There they are. Once she comes out of the shower, she can eat some strawberries. And then, assuming he's not hungry by then, she can go back to bed. And we'll just fast forward. Better having had some having had a shower. And off we go. There. How many? Uh, she only ate one, I think. Yeah. Need another one when she gets. Oh, baby's crying again. 
So you can come feed the baby. And since you're the mommy, you can breastfeed the baby. Get up. Oh, she's very hungry. Oh, she got morning sickness? Yeah, she must because there's two reds. Yes. So hurry up, eat your little strawberry and come over. I know you're hungry. You don't need to give me the sins, the, the hand symbols. A little bit higher up. Feed. Take me a while. Feed Ryan. <laughs> Remember Ryan's name. And you can have another couple of strawberries. And then you can give him a cuddle. You need to look after mom. Friend with Ella. Yes. Strawberries. Another strawberry. Eating strawberries, they don't really fill them up very much. Now, Jeremy seems to be awake. And I'm sure these frogs can be bred again. The whirly flowers. There we go. And let's check his needs. They're okay. So I'm going to I'm going to stop him. I'm going to have him. He is already inspired, but that's only for four hours, which is reasonable time. I'm going to have him keep writing. Write. Resume writing. Oh, he's got a couple of books on the way. On the go. And then he can listen to we'll find the pop music on here. Just so I might have her walk her, um, possibly. Oh, she's hungry. So Ryan seems to be okay at the moment. So I'm going to let her actually eat something out of the fridge and something spoiled. So let me see what it is. An old BLT. She's going to have some pancakes. And if I remember correctly, she has maxed her, um, her cooking. So I'm going to have her listen to the pop while she eats her breakfast. Which may make her have to move over. I don't know if she can hear it from where she is. And it doesn't look like she's going to listen to it because it's too far away. There she is. He has cloud gazed enough. I, I don't know in the rush to get to the baby if I read the frogs and both their inventory, so I'm going to just check, and I did not. I kind of thought I hadn't. I thought I had only done one of them. Routing there, get going to Jeremy. And she's listening. And I'm going to have her loud gaze. I'm going to take her off the friend of the world. I was just doing that to sort of monitor it because she was to that doesn't actually have to be on it and it is good to try and get that as quickly as possible because the friendship will decay of the you know the 12 might go down so to get to 12 to 20 but right now I'm not I'm, I'm still not going to concentrate on it right now let's see where they are on the fortune she has to have earned 75,000 simoleons and she's at 57 she's almost at 58,000 simoleons I'm going to check her creativity Look at the best-selling author. Yes, so she's way down a best-selling author. Author, so I think she's gonna cloud gaze there, and then I'm gonna have her come and write. Doesn't have anything going right now, so we're gonna write. Um, we'll just write a children's book. And then when she comes back in, we will have her also listen. The baby's crying. I'm going to have her listen to Pop, and I'm going to have him stop writing, come change a dirty diaper, give him a cuddle, and then come write some more. Resume writing. It happened one lunch break. Have him listen to Pop. and the other, I'm listening to any music just so that it keeps their fun up while they're writing but we're obviously specifically listening to pop because that's what we want to have going in the house because we're trying to influence this second this next baby to be a girl if we can help it because we have a boy already 
And I most likely will have another child with them later, but I just like to have two in a row. Then the kids can start looking. Name the book. One Blue Shoe, A Tale of Lost and Found, children's book. Not very good at naming books. I did like that in Sims 3, where if the title had been used before, it actually automatically rolled it to like two or three or four or whatever, but you know, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm going to go fast, keep an eye on the baby, make sure it's sleeping and black and not blue for needing, having its needs, needing to be looked after in some way or other. See how, actually slow this for a minute because I'm just wondering about these frogs. Hers can't be bred, but because we bred his earlier, they may be able to be bred. No, still too soon. Yeah, with the children, I will keep them children, I don't know, probably a couple of sim weeks. I'm not exactly sure. I'll let them complete all their children aspirations and get a few skills before I age them up to teens. Because to be honest, kids don't make that much money, though they could become good fishermen and they can make a lot of money from that. But they can add to our goal of reaching a million simoleons in the household better as teens than as kids. Where is he? He's getting hungry. So I'll let him eat. And it's, he's finished. So I'll let him uh, open. And the pancakes are empty, which is why that was showing for a while. Let's put that there for now. And I'll just let him have a gar garden salad. And I'll put it in the garbage. It was not letting me put it in the garbage, which is why I, was, I ended up putting it on the counter. What are you doing now? No, we don't want you to research gardening. That will make you focused. We do not want you to be focused. And we may as well have him watch cooking. And then probably after that, we may as well go tend the garden. What day is it? Saturday. See, and the gardener won't come until Monday. So we need to, I'm pretty sure I hired a, a gardener, which I should double check. We're going to listen to pop just so that's what the music is going in the house. And we're going to tend the garden. And then we will harvest all and we will evolve that one. Ready to evolve. I see a whole bunch of sparkles. Evolve. Evolve. Lots of his, his inventory. His, his queue is full. We can't do anything right now. So where is she in this terms of writing this book? She wants to buy a pool. Well, we'll do that probably at, on Monday. We don't get a bill for that. She wants to finish a painting, and I don't know if that'll keep up. By the time she finishes her book, that'll still be there. Now, are these frogs now ready to be bred? Yes. Don't though. I don't. It moved around on me, so I'm not sure if I'm on the actual right frog. But I will just make sure. The whirly flower, and then we'll go to Jeremy. And I think his were bred earlier, so hers are ready to breed. We always do the whirly flowers because I'm pretty sure we completed our frog collection, which is why they're not out there anymore. Yes, I did remember that. So the whirly flowers are the most expensive. They're, 100, they're worth the most, 160 simoleons, and so we'll do those for now. How long is it going to take her to finish this book? She wants to embrace Jeremy, which we may, may be able to fit that in. So will she writing, listening to pop, and then realize there was a bowl out here. She must have done that. We will have her come and do a medium abstract painting and listen to, she must have flipped over the one that had pop on it. We're going to listen to pop. And so she's finished that first aspiration part, first tier of the best-selling author aspiration. So now she has to own, oh, I guess it was good. So it counted towards her first book. That's excellent. That works really well. So, um, so now she has four more books that need to be good. So it's good because then once we get to the third tier of the best-selling author, it requires you to publish 10 books 
And I usually don't publish my books until I get to that tier. So it'll hold off on it, but then we'll be able to get to the next one that much sooner by having it be one that waits. So we're going to fast forward. She's listening just because this is just them doing, you know, I was going to say skill building, but really primarily what they're doing. She's not skill building because she's already maxed her painting skill. What I should have done is make sure I put her on painter extraordinaire because she needs some masterpieces. She needs five masterpieces. So we'll put her there. And how about Jeremy? So he has finished tending the garden and he is now harvesting. So we have a few things we can set for evolving. I think I might put this trash plant once it's been um, harvested in the inventory, in the household inventory, in case I ever decide I want it out again. But I, you know, it's not like it adds any value. It just helps you complete the gardening aspiration. And then the baby is. Oh, change dirty diaper. How long is it going to be taking? I think I'm going to stop you. I need to look after the baby. And I don't know whether she needs, he needs to be fat, so we'll feed him too. And we'll give him a cuddle. And then we will have her, we'll set her up. We'll have her cloud gaze because the baby should be fine. And we'll have her come back out to work on this painting and continue to listen to pop music and we're setting him off around to do some evolving because the higher on the evolution scale or the better quality they are the more they'll be worth and the more money we make from them i'm just going to double check because i don't remember what traits jeremy has we did go over Eden's, if i got the name right not very good at remembering the yes, Eden's traits. So we do have free services. I thought we did. And that we had a um, marketable, which increases their value. He has the night owl, which means they build skills at night. Um, he has the morning skill, which builds skills um, earlier in the, in the morning, as it, as it indicates. And we'll see if there's any more things for him to evolve so he can act much more useful. Um, the free services means it's supposed to be all single use service requests are free, but at the moment that actually seems to apply for even scheduled service things. So we can just, we don't have to call every day. I used to just call every day when I had that trait because I thought it was only you know, as single use. And at some point they may patch that so it doesn't work that way. But right now it works. So we don't have to call every day. We can just have a scheduled maid and a scheduled gardener and it works. The steel bladder that they both have and the frugal, which means that their bills are reduced. I think it's 20 or 25 percent and then it, it stacks but it will be because the bills are reduced it'll be 25 percent on the new reduced amount so it's not like it's not like it becomes 50 percent or 40 percent whichever it is and then he has a savant also in the marketable which we already had discussed when we were talking about eden's traits so i am going to have him cloud gaze to get inspired and then i'm going to have him come write some more because he's got this poem book that poetry book, I should say, to work on, and I'll just have him go on to pop. When she finishes her painting, she's hungry. I'm going to have her eat, some, eat a strawberry. And I'll probably have her actually eat some real food because the strawberries just don't fill them up. That's three days, and that's one day, so we'll have her have that, and we'll have her listen to pop while she eats her dinner. There. We'll keep going for there and i think that's going to be it for today i know the timer hasn't gone off yet but i also know that i didn't start it right away and i'm going to try and keep the videos around 20 minutes you know, give or take so that'll be it and when we come back we'll continue on our quest for making money we're at 65,773 simoleons i had actually looked though i didn't mention i think we're around 58 or 59 at the beginning so we've managed to earn you know Six ish, six or seven thousand simoleons during this episode, and that was mainly from the paintings that were sold. Because, of course, the books don't make money until we publish them, and we have to sell the um, the harvestables, which he did harvest. So, we probably do have some money that once we sell that, which will be by Sunday evening, so that they don't get included in our bills for the week. And that's about it. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.